Hello from Edinburgh. Uh, if you're watching this today, I hope you're keeping safe and well. Uh, winning the Bronwyn Wallace Award is an incredible honor and a truly unexpected gift this year. I keep telling people it feels surreal to process good news like this, but mostly I just feel full of sincere gratitude, uh, especially to the Writers' Trust and RBC for making all this possible, and to the jury for your generous reading of my poems. Uh, I also want to thank Nina and Zoe. Uh, it's an honor to be alongside of you on the shortlist and to read your incredible work. Uh, it's a shame our, uh, that we can't meet tonight in person, but I do hope that our paths will cross again in the future. Uh, this award means so much to me as someone who uh, didn't write very much in my 20s as I was trying to stay afloat in some difficult times. And uh, when I returned to writing a few years ago as an MFA student, it felt like a fresh start and almost like a second life. And this award really is such a tangible support and affirmation to keep going and uh, persevere in my work. So thank you. I couldn't accept this award without uh, thanking some very important people in my life. Uh, I want to thank my MFA cohort and teachers at St. Andrews, uh, Lily, Sean, Mari, Zane, Sam, Emma, Don, and Ollie. Thank you. I also want to thank Alice and Ryan at the At Sea Writers Residency in Margate that week last November. Uh, writing in that beautiful space was everything I needed to write these poems and they wouldn't have happened without you. I want to thank the brilliant poets and writers I've met in Edinburgh who have helped me find my footing and a sense of community here. A special shout out to Rosa Campbell and Becky Birrell uh, for your unflagging and frankly relentless encouragement this year. Uh, to Emma Jones for your camaraderie in dark times and wisdom in all things. And to Helena Fernells, uh, who was the first one to read these poems. I also want to thank my family in Windsor. I miss you. I wish we were celebrating this together. And uh, thank you to my sisters, Allison and Juliana for your solidarity through some tough years. And thank you to mom and dad. You are the most persevering people I know. And you've given me everything I need. Thank you. Uh, my last thank you is to uh, Justin, who has been by my side for many, many years and is always telling me to bet on myself and in this one particular case was right, so thank you. Uh, to close, these poems were inspired by some notes that we think were written by my grandmother, uh, who has uh, left us now, been passed away about 10 years ago. Uh, we miss her greatly, and in every way imaginable, I wouldn't be here without her. So um, I would like to dedicate this award in memory of Eleanor Highland. Thank you very much.